take these sliding doors away, please? Yes, it's that time of year again, when millions of people with crippling social problems tune in to E3 to mock others for slightly misspeaking in front of an immensely huge audience. And to turn their noses up at everything huge companies have spent millions of dollars and hours working on. Truly a wonderful time. I don't want to suffer alone, so I head over to Sean's with my magic 8-ball in the hopes that he's still alive. World Premiere oh, So you use them toilet rolls anyway. Really good. With only minutes left to go before the pre-show countdown timer, we did a quick inventory. Bounty. Edam. Almond fingers. Rashers. Barries. Pineapple. Pineapple. As good as the countdown was, we decided to use this time to write up some prediction sheets. What are your hopes for EA this year? Um, did they do Rayman? No. What games do EA make? These. You've got loads of games. Do you like games? Uh, I do. But I, hold on. Lost Kingdoms. Lost Kingdoms 2. Lost Kingdoms 2. Um, Lost Kingdoms HD. This is the year. This is an EA. Oh, isn't it? What is this? Madden NFL Overdrive. I am here with Mark and Joe, and they're going to tell me exactly what is going to take this mobile version into this overdrive. Here's a nice little segment on pro gaming. Still the most bombastic way mankind has discovered to sell chairs. These are the only players remaining who haven't used racial slurs in the past six months but they could slip up at any moment. Who is next? Okay, yay. Hopes, expectations. We're almost there. It's happening, it's soon. Can't wait. My hopes for EA. Something mad, FIFA versus car versus basketball, a crossover of all the expectations. Um, uh, FIFA, car, basketball, and the, the game with the flying guys where they're talking. And my excitement level for this is 2 out of 10. My EA wants... It was hard to come up with a want. Wildcard. Mass Effect Trilogy. On the Switch. You know. I mean... Yeah. My expectations. Football. And... The Bad Man. Video games. Video games. Video games. Video games. This review is as much a review of the 8-ball as it is of E3. We're gonna see how good it is at predicting. Will EA be good? Will we get a good show from EA? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Don't count on it. Okay. What about, okay? You don't shake it, you just roll it. It's gonna be full of bubbles. Good morning. EA Sports, FIFA 19, you know, huh. FIFA Holy shit, is that Aiden Pierce's iconic cap? Oh, no, it's just a cap. Hang on, is it? It's not. Wait! Jedi Master Obi-Wan Kenobi. Jedi Master Obi-Wan Kenobi. Hi. It's, it's really good to see you. Uh, <laughs> hey man, that nervous thing you did last time really won people over. We need you to do that again, so don't forget we've got your father backstage and we will be breaking his legs if people don't applaud. Not a clean break either. Now, very important, of course, blocking the, the pathing of those units is another big factor for this strategy. Holding those locations is so crucial as In Control begins to secure the northwest spot. Another tank's going to come out from Nick at Knight to take it out, but now he's bringing out the pit bull as well to help lock down that north position. This missile is very, very close to firing. Let's see what's going to happen. With another turret, In Control flanks. He takes the top of that missile and that fires, off. fires. Wow. You can get your free trial of FIFA 18's World Cup today. You're not paying attention. So when we're making these rashes, should we grill them and then put them on sandwiches with cheese and then grill them again? 
Is Edam one of the ones that melt good? Marks and Spencer? Fucking hell. Did you get that? It was, there was buy one get one half price. I imagine you were in there though as well. You, you just you just get a few bits. You don't you don't do the big shop in Marks and Spencer. You get a few bits. I mean, you'd be mad. You, like imagine buying your cereal, your regular old Frosties in Marks and Spencers. You can do it, but you shouldn't. Yeah, you 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 get cereal from behind. Like, there'd be a guy serving you cereal into a special. little bag with a bit of MS tape on it. And then some lads played FIFA for about three hours, which gave us plenty of time to get excited about Microsoft. Microsoft hopes. Last year they announced Dragon Ball Fighters. At Microsoft? Yeah, the game that I got on PS4. So I'm just hoping something good that's everything else. Something good. Something good. Your hopes. <laughs> Something good. Something good. Links to uh, expectations. Uh, I wrote nothing really. <laughs> and Halo. You expect nothing. Yeah. And ha like Halo is a separate thing to nothing really. Okay. Microsoft. Mm -hmm. I want multiplats. I expect multiplats. Okay. And your excitement? Uh, Microsoft excitement. Will the Microsoft conference be good? My reply is no. This is the Xbox E3 2018 briefing. E3 briefing. I swear to God, the Microsoft boys can't get excited about anything unless it's framed as a top secret meeting to commit a war crime. Oh, it's the new From Software game. You know what that means. This door opening animation again. And that sword is going up your arse. That centipede is going up your arse. That horse, yep. Sekiro, it's all going up your arse. And him. Whoop. It is four times the size of Fallout 4. It's just me, Captain Spirit. This is Chris to the Flying Fortress. Have you spotted the snowman, sir? How's the rashers coming? Good. Hello. Oh, George Foreman, what's he up to? He's, uh. Uh. So. You're missing the games! Life is really strange. <laughs> you thought life was strange? You had no idea. Oh, look, see, the little kid has toys, Sean. See, because like little children, <laughs> little children have toys. Do you oh, do you remember when you were a little kid? Do you remember when you were a little kid, yeah. Sean? And you played <laughs> with your toys. But you know, we put those things away. You know, we get a fucking grip of ourselves. Just it's falling over. Oh, Sean, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh dear. Oh, dear. what have you got to say? Get back. What I love about our art form is the vast range of creative expression. Wow. A walking, talking snowman. You really A walking, talking snowman is easily easily the least interesting thing Sora has ever encountered on his adventures. This keyblade. Is that? <laughs> Mickey. Mickey. You're too late. That was evil. What a twist. I'm gonna buy it. I can see from my I 
of his heart. It's my distinct pleasure to announce that we have acquired Playground Games. This is one of the highest rated studios of this generation. Celebrate acquisitions, Sean. You're missing the acquisitions. The Bible? They've gone and made a Bible anime. Oh, there's your man who ended up in a tree. The tax collector. Come on, you know him. Guys. Yeah, I'll see what I can do. Got him. I'm down. Yeah, this hang on, I'll get you. Down. I'll cover you guys. Come on, come on. I don't know why everyone makes fun of the way people talk during these online play demonstrations. It's how me and Sean talk all the time. Come on, come on. Wow, okay. Let me just talk to this guy. Ah, that'll come in handy. Ah, sweet. Loot. Merry Christmas. A lot of loot here. Come on, come on. Wow, okay. Ah, oh, sweet. Loot. Sounds good. Merry Christmas. A lot of loot here. Ah, that'll come in handy. Watch out. Merry Christmas. Package secured. Package secured. Package secured. Package secured. Come on. There we go, thank you. Zacchaeus! It was Zacchaeus! The third game in Lara Croft's origin story. By the end of this third game, she'll finally be the Tomb Raider and hire a butler to bottle. There we go, Devil May Cry 5. Everyone's happy. I'd be shocked if we ever saw someone complaining about video games ever again. Hey, honey. Oh, look, it's um, Naruto. You might not remember him, but he was very popular a few years ago. Wait, Light Yagami? Surely that's cheating. How do you spell Frieza? F. Or. World Premiere. And the amazing team at the Coalition is working hard to bring you our most ambitious Gears Award title yet, Gears 5. We're now at a moment of exceptional creativity in gaming. We can't wait to show you what Creativity Unleashed looks like for you. Uh -oh. The Xbox One launched five years ago. We think it's ready for games. Are you ready for games? Games. Coming soon to Xbox One. Also coming soon, a new Xbox. Thank you, and have a great E3. Are you are you growing hash? Are you growing hash? <coughs> Bethesda up next, Sean. What's uh, what's your um, what do you think is going to happen? So hopes for me are pretty simple, and I think your hopes. My I think my hopes are your hopes, and it's Doom Two. Doom Two. Or Doom, the next one. Uniquely, my expectations are the same as my hopes it's Doom 2 if they don't have Doom 2 I'm gonna be upset what about you? Uh, Bethesda uh -huh. I want Doom and I expect 
fall out for too long. Yeah. 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 Which of these are your favorite pants? These ones. We come from different backgrounds, from different countries. We have different interests. Here at Bethesda, we make games as diverse as our employees and our players. Gun, 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 shooting the gun at the baddies. Hi everyone, my name is Tim Willits and I am the studio director at id Software. And I'm Magnus Nedfors, game director at Avalanche Studios. And we're here to say that Rage is back. <laughs> yeah! And excited to say these versions are coming out tonight. Are you playing Todd's game? Yeah. Give me some numbers. Uh, six, six, six. Oh my god. No, don't, don't actually do that. Sean, don't do that. That's you alright? I'm fine, actually. Just had a little. How's everybody feeling tonight? Pretty hype? <laughs> now. Hopes for Square Enix. PS1 Final Fantasy Collection on the Switch. That's stupid. Yeah, that's stupid. It's not happening. Maybe a near thing. A near thing? Yeah. Like what? DLC? No, like just a game. Although maybe it's a bit early for that. Like a mobile game? Yeah. I want near shelter. A mobile Switch. game about a pair of knickers? <laughs> I know you. A pair of robot knickers. Robo knickers. That's what they could call it. This year, we're very proud to announce near Robo knickers. <laughs> um, Is that weed? My expectations. You're just fucking drowning that. Square Enix. I want Final Fantasy VII Remake cancelled. My expectations. Final Fantasy VII Remake not there, but also not cancelled. Yeah. Yeah. You look really ill. That's E3, baby. Magic 8-Ball. Will Square Enix be good? Better not tell you now. Better not tell you now. What good is that? journeys we will take, the demons we will face, the heroes we will become. Our next chapter is about to begin. Welcome 
to the Square Enix E3 Showcase 2018. Nathan, こんにちは。Square Enix の松田です。Square Enix E3 Showcase 2018をご視聴いただきありがとうございます。Thanks for joining the Square Enix E3 Showcase 2018. After that extensive Square Enix conference, we needed a break, so we made our way to the nearest all purpose takeaway. We needed to line our stomachs before Ubisoft, or there'd be a lot of dry heaving. What are you hoping for? For Ubisoft? Ubisoft? Do you say Ubisoft or Ubisoft? U I've always said Ubisoft, but now I realize it's probably Ubi. Yeah, that sounds more French to me. Ubi. Ubisoft. Ubi. Ubi. Sounds a bit like, um, Ubi sounds a bit like, um. <laughs> no, I, w I won't, I won't. My hope, Rayman. My expectation, no Rayman, but dancing. Some dancing. Which is fine, but it's no Rayman, is it? Dancing. If you could um, replace all dance. In the world with Rayman. No. No, because there ain't nothing wrong with dancing. But I feel like there's room for both, you know? Will Ubisoft's conference be good? Wiggle. Give it a wiggle. Does that say yes? We don't have anything for a host to say, so if we have six hosts, they can just. Keep saying hello to each other. Hello, hey, uh, how are Hey, hey. He's on drugs. Look, he's taken a trip on a drug. Hang on, maybe I am as well. What was in that Ubisoft water? Imagine the heat in that panda suit. They'll take the head off and find nothing inside but sweat and a burst heart. And here to tell us more is their founder, Joseph Gordon Levitt. Whatever idiot wrote this didn't leave an address. Oh well, I'm sure if we shoot enough men it'll all work out. Oh no, a delirious Elijah Wood is taken to the stage to deliver a TED talk that he hasn't prepared for. Have you ever dreamed of entering someone else's consciousness? Exploring their darkest thoughts and most intimate secrets? In Transference, with Transference we're bringing a no. With Transference we're bringing a first person <laughs> exploration game into a chilling new dimension. Oh man, how shite does this look? <laughs> so bad. Uh, hang on. Uh, um, what I, what I meant to say was, uh, wow, th this looks amazing. I'm going to buy all the toys. God, this guy looks bored as fuck. Fuck off. I'm so sorry. Bye. At this point, I'd watched over eight hours of advertisements and people talking about the advertisements. I was completely shattered and Sony was still two hours away. I asked the eight ball if I should go to bed and watch Sony in the morning instead. The signs, it told me, pointed to yes. Time for bed. Mmm, lovely bed. <sighs> Morning chat. What do you hope will be at Saudi? My hopes. I have a couple of a couple of fairly simple ones and a couple of wild cards, alright? A new Katamari game. Oh. Okay. Katamari. I also want them to finally show off Resident Evil 2 remake. Okay. And I expect uh, Last of Us. Spider-Man. That's it. Swan. Yeah. What about you? Good morning. Sony. Um, Sony. I what I want from Sony is a distressing and aggressive stage invasion. <laughs> okay. And what I expect is talking. Will Sony's show be good? Yes, definitely. 
So tonight, we're going to have, rather than a bombardment of new creative, we're going to take all of you uh, on a journey deeper into some of the key titles we've talked about before, but we're going to talk about them in a different way tonight, a, a deeper way, so you can learn about what's going on with these games and what's coming up in the future. Yes, definitely. I don't care much for this open display of love between two people. Can't we have a guy getting his throat slashed open or... Oh, here we go. Yeah, now we're video gaming. We're taking a quick intermission while folks move uh, along to the next part of the experience. We'll have a little bit more to share on that later. One of the things I wanted to mention was, you know, I get a lot of tweets. Welcome back. We are having the PlayStation E3 showcase kicking off in just a few more minutes. We're in a short intermission period here, but we've got some good stuff to talk about. Excellent. So I say we keep this moving here. And uh, when it comes to Call of Duty, we know that a bunch of remastered maps from Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2 are making their way to Call of Duty Black Ops 4 this October on launch day. But what we just learned here is that those maps, those classic maps, are, are coming to Black Ops 3 as well for those who pre-order Black Ops 4 on PlayStation Store. A lot of great stuff announced. Let's take a quick look back at the highlights. Welcome back. We're just a few minutes away from the E3 PlayStation Showcase. I mean, I, when I say a few minutes, I mean we're really <laughs> <laughs> So let's keep moving here. There was a lot of great stuff here. Oh, and we can see the crowd is seated. Uh, the people are about ready to go. That's, okay. that's right. We are really seconds away when it comes down to it from the rest of a PlayStation's E3 Showcase. Thank you so much for watching. We've got a lot more in store tonight. Um, but for now... I think it's almost time. Let's I think go. it's almost time. Should yeah, we get you, to it? I think why keep people it. waiting? Let's get to it. We have so much okay. more to cover. Okay. Let's do it. Got a lot more in store. Yeah. So let's check it out live right now. This is what we're all here for. The new trailer for Norman Reedus' sponsored walk. Oh my goodness, that would put the willies right up you. Hello sir, could I ask which gas provider you are currently using? Sir, do you feel your electricity bills are too high? Hello sir, could I ask which gas provider you are currently using? Sir, are you pleased with your current mobile network? Hello, sir. If I could just talk to you if for I two could just minutes. have two minutes of your time, sir. sir do you... All these men were one day away from rehabilitation, but Spider-Man would rather see them dead than free. Look at this. That man did not survive. Dead. Killed by Spider-Man. That was the PlayStation Ooh. E3 showcase. Gosh. Top highlights, go. But I got to say, I think my favorite was Marvel Spider-Man. Spider-Man looked in deadly. That was incredible. Yeah. incredible. We had these legendary villains are back. We had Rhino, Electro, Vulture. I'm missing some. Who else were there? I mean, just one uh, after Shocker, another. Uh, that was, uh, yeah. Electro. So oh, Electro. Spider-Man was not yeah. in a good space. No, it was, it was pretty rough. <laughs> legendary villains. The Magic 8-Ball is very lucky that it told me to go to bed when it did, because had it told me to stay up until 4 a.m. watching this fucking desk convention, I'd have smashed it to absolute bits. Like, well, was that, was that like just a linear level? No, like that's our, that was our Manhattan. That's our New York City. Well, and it just happens to be on like, a big one? main story mission. Uh, but in between the like, two things like you saw in the raft or we showed that back at LSD3, you can just swing around yeah, New York City right and have here. fun. Let's, let's, go, let's go to that footage because we uh, have it running here on the... Uh, and finally, let's take a look at just how much fucking money was spent to show you some videos. Yes, we built that church just to show you that one video of The Last of Us 2. Yeah. Yeah, can't help but think that maybe, uh... No, never mind. I, I was going to say something about this maybe being a, a bad thing, but, but forget it. I, I don't know what I was... 
I'm s sorry. I'm sorry. We returned to the Superdome for more supplies in preparation for the Nintendo show, where Animal Crossing was definitely going to be announced. My Nintendo expectations. Yeah. Animal Crossing. It's gonna happen. My hopes. Animal Crossing. But, like I say, my expectations. Animal Crossing. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. I don't even have to ask. It's 100%. 100%. Even if all the bounties were gone, I remained confident about Nintendo. A new Animal Crossing would be announced within the next two hours. There was no real need to ask the 8-Ball, but I decided to humour it. Magic 8-Ball, will there be a new Animal Crossing game shown today, making the Nintendo show good? Without a doubt. As expected. What? Oh. Oh. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. 100%. Well, no new Animal Crossing, but... Mario is going to be in the new Super Smash Brothers, so there you go, this Samus from uh, 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 Metroid, uh, sounds about Kirby, uh, the, that tree from Kirby that you see every time is back! Uh, Bowser there, Link, not, not looking good. the boy you'd like to kiss is back in Super Smash Brothers, Donkey Kong, would you... Would you kiss Donkey Kong? You could you could pull him into the kiss by the the Thai uh, Fox and Falco. They're both back in Smash Brothers. Martha's back. Hope you, hope you got that amiibo for fifty pounds. Uh, Zelda and she Villager. Just uh, just a reminder there of what we. Uh, in fact, most of these are kind of reminders of what we didn't uh, what we didn't get. But uh, you know, not to worry. It's Sonic and Peach is back. You know, you could say that they're just all, they're just all in it. There's the ice climber, see, they're all in it. You could say that. And this goes on for, um, I mean, it shows you everyone. Uh, this goes on for five minutes. You could say that they're all, they're all in it. They're all in it. And uh, then a big picture, but. Sorry, I'm, I'm glad the Smash folk get their clearly very new video game, but look, if you kill Sakurai before he gets a chance to make another Kid Icarus, then I'm personally going to run you all over with Caligula's beheading machine. There was no hiding my disappointment. In the hopes of cheering me up, Sean put on Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival. It was shite and I felt worse. So how was E3 all in? Ah, it was fine. From my chart, it's clear that it went pretty much as expected. But what about the Magic 8-Ball? Well, it was wrong 71.43% of the time, so for anyone who wanted to believe in magic, that's fucked now as well. <laughs>